there are a lot of gods in Dragon Ball. But surprisingly, not everybody knows that. In fact, some people were very surprised when the term God was used in the Dragon Ball movie, Battle of the Gods. Now, my response to this is, Gods have been used throughout the entire series, and I don't know, maybe you need to go rewatch it in Japanese and uncensored to understand this. The religious references are filled in all throughout Dragon Ball, however, they are most censored in this TV release and in the Funimation dub. But today, what I want to talk about is all the gods in Dragon Ball and quickly break this down for you. Now, the first well-known character in Dragon Ball that is established as a god is Kami. Now, Kami is a god because one, in Japanese, Kami literally means god. That is why some YouTubers like Miss, Mr. Fusion and others, and even in the vid manga, he is referred to by the title God, not Kami. Because he is God. That's what Kami is, he's God. However, he is not the only God in Dragon Ball. The Kai, like King Kai, South Kai, West Kai, and East Kai, Grand Kai, and all the Supreme Kai, and Kabito Kai, technically, and even in Xenoverse, the Supreme Kai of time. Anybody that has the title of Kai is also a god, because the Kais are the gods of creation. There was also gods in such a character like King Yama. King Yama is the god of the afterlife. King Yama is a god. Technically, Guru would be a god. Dende would technically be a god. I'm what I'm trying to say here is is that if you were surprised when Battle of Gods came out and you were surprised about Goku becoming a god and Beerus being the god of destruction, I don't know why you were, because gods have been everywhere all throughout Dragon Ball. Also I'd like to point out that Funimation does try to cover up the concept of gods heavily, which does annoy me to a, trem to a tremendous level, because Beerus is the god of destruction. There is an official translation, use it, damn it. But I'm not going to go on a rant about Funimation calling him Beerus the Destroyer here. But, the thing is, is that Funimation does try their best to cover this up by doing things such as calling him the god, the destroyer god, or, or sometimes just Beerus the destroyer. He is actually only referred to as the god of destruction Beerus one or two times. However, some things, some very annoying things, are left alone. Such as, the fact that he is still called god, but he is called a destroyer god. I, I really don't understand that one. But, overall, something else people need to understand is that Goku, according to John Jimmel, he said is, when Goku becomes a god, he is becoming something as like a Greek god. He is becoming, Goku becoming a god is not saying Goku is becoming Super Saiyan Jesus. However, I really don't know how to argue with that. Because it's not based on Greek gods. I See, that is Funimation trying to cover their own track. And that is something I do not blame them for. However, I just wanted to make this video to explain that if you were surprised about God, there being gods in Dragon Ball, and you shouldn't be. Because there have been gods in Dragon Ball all the way back dating to the original Dragon Ball with Kami. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. Please like Comment and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day, guys.